Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about my 2022 favourites. So I know this is quite materialistic, but I do love a good favourites video. I find they're just so cosy and nice, and it's nice to hear all the positivity and thinking about the things that really made our year. And I love watching these videos, and I'm also hoping I'm going to release this a bit early. I think it would be useful as a gift guide, or if any of you guys are looking for things to put on your wish list. So let's get into it. Starting off with beauty, I've been using the Essence Mascara for over a year now, but this year I just realised how good it was because I tried some other more expensive mascaras and I forget exactly how much this mascara is but I believe it's like under five dollars definitely under five pounds and it is insanely good I always get asked what I'm wearing and it just makes my lashes look so amazing so if you guys are looking for a good mascara I highly recommend the Essence one I believe it's the Essence Lash Princess I will put of course a photo of everything up on the screen I also absolutely adore the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Melting Cream Blush now I love a good blush but I have struggled to find a colour that looks looks really good. I'm not wearing it today. I'm just going bare skin, nothing on there. Every time I do do a bit of concealer, a bit of foundation, even without foundation, especially in the summer, this blush looks incredible. And I know there's a lot of hype for the Rare Beauty blushes and I just absolutely adore it. And I think there's some really great colors and they are just such a lovely creamy formula and they blend out so amazing. I've honestly been into applying a lot of makeup with my hands. So I apply my concealer with my hands. I don't have a foundation currently. And then obviously I apply this blush with my hands and I just think it's formulated really nicely for that natural makeup look and for using your hands but yeah the hype is definitely deserved for this one then if you've been watching my vlogs or if you follow me on tiktok you've definitely heard of this i've been really really into painting my nails for like the past two years now but this year i've been rebuying nail polishes because i had to get rid of a bunch when i moved to canada and the sally hansen complete manicure polish in raisin the bar and you glow girl have been my absolute favorites i mentioned this on tiktok because i think they look like the Hailey bieber glazed donut nails i don't use gel polish i just use normal because i find it's much better for my nail health and for growing out my nails. So I was trying to find a way to do the glazed donut nails without gel polish and if you're looking for a hat to do it at home this is it. It is so quick. When I bought them they were under six dollars I believe. They're at shoppers, they're so accessible and they just look incredible. I can't imagine the price you'd pay for it in a nail salon compared to just a bottle at home so I highly recommend it. Then for hair care I got the Dyson Airwrap this summer. I actually have a vlog using it for the first time and I've been absolutely loving it. Now my hair doesn't look the most amazing at the minute but if I told you this was day four hair I feel like that changes the vibe because the Dyson Air Wrap can make my hair even days after washing it look so much more presentable and also I have naturally wavy hair and I really wanted to start wearing it straight again it just feels like so much more me so I was using straighteners and stuff and you could tell the heat damage was so bad so swapping to the Dyson Air Wrap has been so much more gentle on my hair and I also much prefer the way it looks and the way my hair feels afterwards it's definitely not so crispy as when I use the hair straightener and now talking about heat damage I also want to mention the Coco and Eve Sweet Repair Hair Mask. So I love Coco and Eve products. They've gifted me quite a few things on the channel that I've shared with you guys. And again, I do have a link down below because I cannot recommend them enough. But this hair mask in particular is so good for heat damage. I've also used their hair oil and they have this new pre-shampoo treatment. They're all so good, but the hair mask is just something where I put it in my hair and afterwards you can really tell the difference. Not to mention all the products smell amazing, which I love. Okay, now moving on to clothing. There's been a lot of clothes that I love this year. I feel like 2022 has been really a year about discovering my personal style. I feel like before this year I was just following and hopping on a bunch of trends and I knew what I liked but I also found that I was easily influenced by like trendy clothing pieces. So this year although what I'm gonna talk about has gone viral on TikTok I do feel like the things I've been buying have been a lot more true to my personal style. So I want to talk about the Peggy sweater from Aritzia which is what I'm wearing at the minute. It is so perfect for autumn and winter. It is so cozy. I just wear this around the house to film videos obviously but also wearing it out and about. It is the perfect level of like warm where you're not overheating but it also keeps you super warm especially if you layer it and it comes in a bunch of different colours but I think this white cream is just absolutely classic and yeah don't get me wrong this was an expensive sweater. I think it is a sweater that solves a bunch of problems for me. I've been looking for just like a white classic sweater. This solves that issue and it's really good quality so it's gonna last me forever and I think it just like I said solves a lot of closet issues and becomes a really good staple. I've worn it so much that the cost per wear is probably a lot lot less than a lot of my other cheaper sweaters. Yeah, but if you're thinking about it, this is your sign to get the Peggy sweater. Then my favorite shoe at the minute is the Skechers Oxford Party Mate shoes. I saw one TikTok about these and no one was really talking about them. So I picked them up and I made a TikTok about them. They are the perfect shoe for autumn and winter. So I walk weirdly, so I always get pain in my feet. So I love a good Skechers. They're very well made and like very comfortable. So when I found that Skechers had an Oxford shoe and I often find Oxford shoes uncomfortable, I was like, I have to get it. 
they're so well priced you can get them on amazon they have them in black and brown and i believe two different finishes i have the black ones in the matte finish i believe and they're linked in my amazon shop by the way along with a lot of the things i'm talking about they go with everything with skirts with dresses trousers and jeans i feel like you can wear them in the summer as well they're very very timeless and then also the abercrombie curve love jeans i've been looking for a good pair of jeans that are comfortable and also look great and are timeless i had this one pair that i was wearing for ages that were nice and comfortable but they were really baggy and they only gave me like one certain look these jeans are just perfect they go with any outfit i really love the wash of them but obviously the curve love range isn't just this pair there's a bunch but i just find this really fits if you have larger hips and a smaller waist which i find is an issue lots of people deal with jeans aren't made for women's bodies if you're thinking of buying a pair of jeans definitely do check out abercrombie and their curve love range but i'm looking at like fashion pieces i try to think of like how many questions is it going to answer in my closet if that makes sense i'll explain it a little bit so with this sweater like i was saying it answered a lot of questions where i was like what sweater am i going to wear i need a basic white one. so it answered all those questions and it means when i'm putting together an outfit it's just a good basic which i know i can rely on and that's a similar thing with these jeans it's every time i need a pair of trousers to go with the top they go with basically everything and this wash is a real classic so when i'm putting together pieces it just fills in the gaps and they're absolutely perfect which is something i look for when i'm looking at full clothing so this is a recent discovery and if you watch my channel um you might know that i'm a vegetarian and i am a real fake meat fan and i felt like in the uk i was spoiled for options and then moving to Canada I feel like I'm lacking in the options for fake meat which I really struggle with because that's a big part of my cooking so I've been using tofu a lot more and there are some brands but this has been a game changer so I discovered soy curls they look intimidating they look like they're not going to be too good but there's this restaurant in Vancouver it's called meat and they use soy curls and love their dishes so I bought some I wanted to try it out and they are so much better priced than a lot of the branded fake meats they can replicate chicken beef just any sort of protein not only are they cheap and versatile they are so easy to make you just soak them in water for 10 minutes then add seasoning and they soak up all the seasoning and then you fry them up i definitely want to do some cooking videos and show how i use soy curls but i know this is a bit niche but if you're a vegetarian or a vegan um, i highly recommend using them and checking them out this next one is also a bit weird if you're from america or canada this might be a bit odd but in the uk and i'm pretty sure in australia but we don't really have coffee creamer so what creamer is still doesn't quite make sense me i've actually just googled it apparently its purpose is to replace milk in black coffee and like make it creamier which i guess creamer creamier but what i do is i've been using coffee creamers in addition to milk in a latte and often instead of syrups and i don't know what it is about them they just taste so much more natural than adding like an actual sugar syrup into my coffee and also i really like the way they've been making the milk froth so my favorite is coffee creamers in general that is my favorite for this year it is a new discovery that i've made since moving to canada and i understand why people like them so much but i also can't describe why also some of my favorite creamers that i've tried this year are the khalifa farms pumpkin spice creamer the silk hazelnut creamer and the trader joe's brown sugar oat creamer they're all really good but honestly just the concept of creamer in general is a favorite for me this year so now while we're on the topic of coffee another favorite is my keurig machine i used to be an instant coffee girl and then jake got me a french press which i loved in the uk i think french presses are so versatile and they're a great place to start i leveled up to a keurig this year and i absolutely love it first of all the amount of coffee they brew it's a lot more than an espresso shot which at first i was intimidated by because i didn't know how to do that but it's actually nice because i'm not using as much milk in my coffee but they still taste just as good and i love all the different pods you can get i've been using the tim hortons media roast they are so good there's something about the little sound it makes when it makes your coffee and the way it just pours all the coffee in it is just such a nice moment in my morning routine i really enjoy the taste of the curing coffee pods i've been using i just enjoy the process and the machine is so easy and another thing to do with coffee and drinks in general is my milk frother again this is an amazon product i will have it linked on my storefront as well as a bunch of these things as i mentioned i leveled up from one of those handheld milk frothers to this and it was slightly more of an investment the handheld milk frothers range from like six to sixteen dollars depending on where you get them but i also find them really lackluster when you use them they just don't do the job as well as they need to do so i invested in this which was around forty dollars that has changed the game for coffee you can do cold foam you can do hot 
hot foam and it looks so aesthetic just sitting in my little coffee station in the kitchen. If you like coffee or hot drinks, it's perfect for hot chocolate, matcha, chai, anything like that, then invest in this milk frother. Next home favorite I have is refillable bottles. We use ours for olive oil and soy sauce, but you can really put a lot of different liquids in here. We got ours from Daiso, but I will link similar ones on Amazon. But in general, we've just been using a lot of like kitchen refills. In our new kitchen, we use jars for spices. I just love having refills, bulk buying, being able to fill them up. It's much more cost effective. And also having these refills allows you to control the aesthetic of your kitchen. And I think just makes everything look so much more seamless and clean and just nice. Hi guys, I'm also just jumping in a little bit later because I totally forgot to mention this. This is my Tory Burch bag that I got for my 21st birthday. I believe it's called the Robinson Tote, but I recently just bought this traveling with me. It can fit a lot and not only is gorgeous, but is very useful. And I love the color I said to my mum when I got it. I think it's the exact same color as my eyes, which I don't know, just perfect for my 21st and I don't want to talk too much about it, but I felt like I had to include it in this video. So that is just a bunch of random favorites. They're things that really made my year better. They're things that I really love. I'd love to hear about one of your favorite things that has made your year down below. If you did like this video, please do like and please do subscribe because I'd love to see more of you. And thank you again just so much for watching.